what's going on out there tonight? It's your boy Jay. Let's write. Today we got the uh, Mossberg 500 for you, pistol grip edition. And we're going to show you how to take this down and put it back together, fuel strip it. Later on, we're going to show you how you clean this bad boy. Let's get into it. Alright. Chit chit, chit chit. Alright, so we're going to get right into it. Got your 500 here. You know, pistol grip, got the heat shield on this one. Now, quick insight real quick before we start taking this apart. With the 500 and the Mossberg 88, what you're going to want to know is that, you know, when you have the, the regular stock on, you can fill strip it without taking off the, um, taking anything else apart. But with the pistol grip, what happens is that the handle ends up blocking the trigger group from completely coming out. So what we're going to do to start this off, we're going to take off this uh, pistol grip handle. That comes off. I'm going to leave the um, screw in there. The next thing you need is to... Uh, you're going to want to uh, cock this back about halfway. Got that push cocked back halfway. You're going to want to um, slide this down a little bit more. We're going to unscrew the barrel. That's the first thing that's going to come off is the barrel. Got your barrel off. Put that to the side. Handle to the side also. Now you're going to want to get a punch or uh, this is a screwdriver actually. So you get a punch or a screwdriver and this pin right here you're going to want to push it out to get the trigger group out next. So you're going to put some pressure on this. That comes right out. Trigger group lifts out. I'm going to put this pin. Now I'll put this pin right in between here so that it doesn't go nowhere next thing we do you want to take out your uh your slide assembly right here on the inside so it brings back a little bit more loosen it up uh, find that yeah, right at sweet spot oh, you know what let me go back we gotta take out your card just stop first there's two of these one on each side don't forget your orientation the one with this little um this little lip right here goes on the um well, depending on the way you're facing the gun, just try to remember the orientation of which way they came out. Put them to the side, and you can pull out your slide now. Next thing you do, you pull out the uh, pump action. Pump action comes right out, and you can slide the bolt out right after that. Right inside, you got your cartridge elevator. Lift that up, squeeze it out. Mossberg 500 disassembled. Just like that. Alright, so now we got this apart. I guess it's time to put it back together because, I mean, what, what good is a home defense gun if it's disassembled? So let's get into it. Alright, first thing we're going to want to do is, let me see where I'm at, slide this elevator back in. And you know, faces downward, these two uh grooves right here flex into the um the slots right here, squeeze those, slide them in, hold on, let me see here, they're gonna they're gonna snap into place. Let me see here, let's see here. You know what? I was actually wrong. It goes this way. those in. Let that sit down. Next thing you're going to want to do before I slide this in, let me show you how exactly how this part is going to work. This is your uh, bolt. This is your slide. Your slide is going to fit into the groove right here. And the rails of the pump, when they slide into the gun, they're going to fit right here. So once you drop this in place, that's how it's going to line up inside the receiver. So let's go ahead and put this bolt back in. We'll slide that in right in there. Get 
this. Let's get this in here. Got that in. You don't want to put the uh, your pump action back on your gun. Now there's two slots right here. You work it past there. Now when you get to the inside, it might be a little of a hassle to get that um in. So what I normally do, uh, uh, well yeah, if you slide it, make sure you gotta make sure it slides down right into the path so that it, you know it, it goes in place. Now I'm gonna try to line this up so I can just drop it in one time. Get it on the money. You want to put your bolt in. Now you're going to want to, sorry, it's a slide. Slide the bolt back down a little bit to get it to, let's see here. This part kind of takes a little bit of uh, getting used to. Finding that sweet spot. that in there you want to put your cartridge stops in they go right here this faces outside you want to pull this bolt back a little bit there's also a hole out here that it lines up with to lock into place this one faces outwards slide that in that locks. Next thing you're gonna want to do, you know what that came out. And you might have to keep your hand on this to lock it in place. So now we come back with our barrel. Sorry, you know what? Not your barrel. Let's put this trick groove back in so we can lock everything in place. That way, nothing moves. So this trigger group, you're gonna slide it up right here and locks right back down. And let's hit it with the uh the pin so that that doesn't move. You might have to play around with that a little bit to get it to slide right through. As you can see, that's right back in. I'm gonna use my punch. And now that's in there not going nowhere now like I said last step get your barrel and you want to slide this on put that in there and screw that right right back down Before that's all, all that's done, we're going to put this pistol grip handle right back on. Got your Allen bolt. I dropped something off my table. And we're going to screw this right back down. I'm going to tighten this so that, you know, it just doesn't come loose at all. And here you go. Marlboro 500. Are you ready for action?